Today I'm at the charger at the Ampol service station at Carcedine and I've come to check out this ABB charger which is new for the Brisbane area. Uh, it's a little bit different to the regular tritium chargers that we're used to so I've organised a couple of EVs to come along and put it through its paces and we're going to check out the behaviour. Hopefully that's interesting. So what is it I actually want to test today? Well the Ampol website has advertised these as a 150 kilowatt charger. Uh, I've been here before and this says 180 and 125. Uh, so let's check out, there's some specs on the side here and we can see the DC output is 200 amps on both the CCS and charter mode. So to put this charger through its paces, what I've decided to do is get one of the fastest CCS charging cars, the Ionic 5, which has 800 volt charging, and a Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour uh, that actually can handle a bit more than the lower capacity Leafs. Uh, it can do up to 100 kilowatts, I believe and this charger has a 200 amp Chartamo cable so we're going to test how fast that Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour can charge because I haven't seen one charge more than 50 kilowatts before. Here he is! Not very great. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Oh, I might have to change base. Never. Oh, they've got to turn that off. Ooh. That's right. What's happening? Okay. What's happening? Setting up communication with the car. Hi, up, go. There we go. Okay, we finally downloaded the app and started working. All right, let's check this out. 19% state of charge and, and thank goodness the car shows you the charging speed so we're just going to do a very quick test on what speed we can get on the car on each car and then we're going to see what happens if we try to charge them both at the same time so 133 133 kilowatt. Mm, we'll ramp it. Oh, 134. Is that the voltage? Battery voltage? Is nah. that the voltage? I can turn the battery voltage off a different thing, but I need the ignition on. You can work it out. You can work it out because um, it'll just be 200, divide, that divided by 200. I, think it will be. I don't think it's running at 200 amps. Um, let's do the cow. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what am I doing? That would be 670 volts, maybe it is that way. Forgot about that. What do you want to know? The battery voltage? 600. Well, you're not wrong. 676 yep. volts. 200 amps. Okay, there you go. Hey, yeah, 200 amps. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Okay. More on this later. Can I quickly plug in with the me before the leaf gets here? Just to test it? If you want. Yeah, go for it. Okay, having that cable stretched across was ridiculous, so we've done a bit of a swap. And uh, we've got another friend here in Nanaimiev, and we're just gonna muck around until the leaf arrives. It's, okay, start it, it started this time. No, that's kind of back here, right? 60 amps. 
Okay, cool. Much better. So we've got charging out? Yeah, we've got them both charging. Okay. So what's the charge speed on the I think this time? Uh, 100 amps. 100 amps. Ah, so it's splitting the 200. If only they made the cable like even six inches longer. <laughs> <laughs> so basically if it leaves here, you just give up because they're hogging it all. Alright, so here we are, the Ionic and the 62 kilowatt hour Leaf. G'day mate. G'day, how are you? There we are. All right. It's a, a, an import. Yeah. The new one. So you have to start the charge with the app. So I'll do that now. Uh, go to the amp charge app. I've already set up payment. And close. And start charging. And you get the big contactor click on the inside. Preparing to charge. There we go. So you're on 73%, are you? Yeah, that seems about right. Just go for the gold boost. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll just check inside the car. See if it's got the charging speed. See if we've got anything on the inside showing the speed. Just been installed, I guess. Yeah, about a month ago. Oh. There you go. One button down, you get the. Oh, yes. So we're getting 40 kilowatt. Mm -hmm. oh, again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be a lot lower because oh, you're. Um, because the, the, the lower, the yeah. higher the speed would have been. Because oh, okay. this can charge it, charge you a bit faster. So my guess is he's only getting about 100 amps now anyway. These are annoying. Probably about 100 amps if he's getting 38 kilowatts. Because that would mean his battery pack times 100 is about 38 kilowatts. And the Ionic when the Chartermo is already charging. Yep, we can see 67 there, which is uh, half the speed we were getting earlier. So, 100 amps? Yep. So, the theory is uh, the charger's splitting the two, it's a 200 amp charger, and it's giving 100 amps either way. Um, so, unfortunate for the Ionic 5 owner if uh, a leaf pulls up <laughs> and Weekend starts to ruin. <laughs>
five is sitting at 67 kilowatts. Let's press ignition again. Okay. Is it even charging? Okay, it hasn't actually gone to 200 amps. So, waiting to see if that does occur. <laughs> Starting. All right. <laughs> that contact is really heavy, eh? Okay. 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100, mate. You've been gunning it. That's baby. That's that's <laughs> slow. That's that's, that's not even trying, you reckon? I did actually flog it up here. <laughs> All right. We were just at 67, and now we should see double that. Hey, straight away. So it is a little strange that it doesn't then give you the 200 amps mm. once the other car stops, but perhaps we didn't wait long enough. All right, and we might just watch until we see how high this car can charge, because we're just seeing 140. Yeah, we're hitting, we're hitting 200 amps and we're getting 104. We're touching 140 kilowatt. Around OBD is reading a yep. little bit higher. It was a 140. Okay, but near in my cone, or at least there's a shelf. I don't know if there's the same shelf in the Ionic 5, but about 57 percent there's a shelf. So. I it doesn't, it on. says 10 minutes to 80%. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? So. Alright, so I'm here with Andrew who's brought the Ionic 5. Thank you for coming along, Andrew. That's always fun to do some science. <laughs> uh, how long have you had the Ionic 5? Uh, we took delivery of it, I believe it was in uh, mid-March, so we got it on the uh, January order. Which, Very good, uh, and how many Ks have you done? Um, by the time I get home, I'll have done 13,000 Ks. Very good, and all good so far? Yeah, I absolutely love it. Uh, last weekend took delivery of a Model Y, rather controversially. I much prefer being in this car. Yeah. Um, they're charging not so much here, but definitely it's a selling point how fast you can charge them. Yeah, that 800 volt charging, I mean, we're a bit weird, we're really into charging and stuff like that, but uh, I think some other people just don't get it. But uh, uh, I think um, fast charging definitely negates the need for long range. Um, we've seen a lot of long range in the um, Teslas getting popular and a lot of people upset that the long range Model Y didn't make it here yet. I'm looking at this thinking you don't need it. I'm tired by the time the battery's empty. Yeah. All right, very good. Thank you once again. No problem. And I'm also here with Jeff, who's driven up from the Gold Coast. Thank you for coming along today, Jeff, and bringing your Nissan Leaf. No worries. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, how long have you had the Leaf? Probably about six months now. That's uh, the fifth Leaf I've owned, but the the best one so far. Okay, and uh, it's an import, I believe, is that right? That is correct, yes. Okay, how are you finding it? Uh, fantastic. Uh, it was about $20,000 below new car price with less than 5,000 Ks on it. Okay, and how many Ks have you put on it? Uh, about uh, just on 3,000, I would say. That's okay, all. so still pretty new to it? Mm. Okay, all right, well, thank you once again. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right, so what did we learn? We can charge two cars at the same time, one on the charter mode and one on the CCS. And it, so that did work. Uh, we didn't get the opportunity to see the Leaf go over 50 kilowatts, unfortunately, still to, even though he's driven up from the Gold Coast, still to the highest state of charge. Uh, perhaps we'll do that another time, but uh, we also learned that this charger will essentially split the amperage uh, and give each person 100 amps each so hopefully you found that interesting 
and thank you to the owners for bringing their cars along and I'll catch you on the next one. So just quickly this Polestar 2 is turned up and it's getting 80 kilowatt charging speed so you can see that's a very nice dash 402 volt and 200 amp so that's that's really good.